Hi friends, thank you for joining me today. I am Janice and this is The Right Way. Happy New Year! I cannot believe that it's 2024 already. Uh, 2023 flew by. Um, many highs, many lows, you know, life just trudging along. And um, I'm super grateful uh, to be here. And I'm super grateful that you you know, watch my videos. Um, when I started the channel, I wanted to share my passions and document the things that I was doing. And I'm just grateful that anybody was interested in listening. Um, in the first year, I said I wanted to probably have 50 subscribers and um, I, we exceeded that number. And then Last year, I wanted 200 subscribers, and now I'm at 222. So I'm really grateful uh, to you for watching my videos. And um, thank you to those who stuck with me from the very beginning. And thank you to all the people who've just subscribed. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing somewhat of a year in review. just talking about the different milestones in my personal life and in my YouTube life and also the goals for this year. So the year in review, milestones. The biggest one, which is not going to be discussed very much here, but um, there was a new opportunity at work this year and it has been such a wonderful experience, a learning experience, uh, a, a period of growth in my confidence and in my ability, and I'm also learning new skills. I'm really grateful for that. I celebrated my 50th birthday um, this year and my 22nd wedding anniversary. So my birthday was in May and my anniversary was in December. And um, so two big celebrations this year. Um, within speaking about YouTube, I had two, I have 200 plus subscribers. Um, my goal for this year is 500. So hopefully by the end of this year, I'll have 500 and uh, more engagement, you know, with the people that watch my videos. Um, Sean, the guy who sewed, uh, featured me twice on his channel. First off, it was Brecky with the guy who sews on, on August the 5th in the morning. You can go back and watch that video. I will link it in the description below. And the second one was aired on December 23, which was his trunk show. Both were great videos. Go back, go back and watch them and um, subscribe to the channels that are featured there um uh, of course there was an increase in volume in the on my videos increased interaction more people were commenting and liking the videos and so on and i uploaded my first shorts uh, this year and i'll try to continue doing them at least bi-weekly i also attempted foundation paper piecing this year I started with some print offs from Brenda of Conquering Mount Scrapmore. With Brenda, I started with her uh, blocks and then I went to uh, the Legit Kits Vortex um, block of the month. And then I tried the Sea Turtle um, by Patterns by Shaley. And I'm going to continue with the vortex. And I don't know, we'll see. I mean, sometimes foundation paper piecing is a little bit challenging. Sometimes it's not, you know, so it depends. I may or I may not, you know, continue with that. Um, I completed 10 whips, work in progresses. Is that, is that how it's pluralized? I don't know. But I completed 10 quilts this year um some of them were gifted um and some of them you know i've kept 
Um, I did eight quilt store visits in total. Uh, the last one being So Creative Lounge. And um, those videos are on my channel. Those are some of the exciting things that happened on my channel last year. I have some goals for this year. The first goal, as I mentioned before, is to grow to 500 subscribers. That's my goal for this year. Now, for some people, it, that might be a very small goal, but I believe in so, slow and steady. <laughs> so um, 500 subscribers would be the goal that I've set for myself for this year. Um, I want more engagement on the channel, more uh you know discussions more interaction that's and i'm going to be working on that i'm going to be working on improving the presentation of my videos so that um people are engaging with me i have been challenged by sean the guy who sews to start a podcast and I am going to do that. I'm calling it the right corner. So every other week, I'm going to welcome you to the right corner. And in that podcast, I'm going to be sharing just what I've been up to for over the past two weeks, what projects I'm working on, what my goals are, and answering questions, asking questions, and so on. I have also signed up for the Cotton Cuts Tree of Life Puzzle Mystery, puzzle mystery Quilt, <laughs> which starts in February. And I'm going to be working on those as well. I am not an affiliate. I am a maybe a detective is what she's calling them or <laughs> an enthusiast. I'm not sure. But I've subscribed to that. That. Uh, subscription and i'm going to be working on those i'm pretty excited about that i am going to be continuing with my quilt guild block of the month and that's going to be a two color two color quilt quilt shades of black and white shades and tints of black and white so um i'm going to be continuing with that i did not continue the so yeah subscription box and i'm not going to however the block of the month for the boxes that i did get last year i'm going to be working on those as well so it will be the soya friend box block of the month and i did six months of the soya friend box so i have six blocks and that i'm going to put together along with um just a square of a particular coordinating fabric and um, i'm going to do that's the plan for that th for that this year to do that quilt i'm hoping for more collaborations this year i am very interested in a collaboration with mona did what and the awkward quilter and one other person that I'm, i can't remember the name of that person now but i'm i'm attempting the block that they are um going to be working on and they're going to do 20 blocks they'll have 20 that are challenging and 20 that are more advanced and 20 that are more beginner friendly i'm going to attempt the first block <laughs> and We'll take it from there. Um, but I do look forward to more collaborations in the future. If anyone wants to collaborate with me, please reach out to me. My email address is in the description box below. All right. So what's new? What's going to be new for 2024? Well, I've, I'm going to be doing the puzzle mystery quilt from Cotton Cuts. I'm going to be doing the podcasts and I may include a Q&A and an occasional Q&A and I may do a live. The live is very intimidating uh, for me, uh, but I 
I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do it and see how it goes. All right. What are your thoughts? What do you think I could do? What do you want to see on my channel? Write below your comments and tell me what would you like to see? Which aspect of my channel do you enjoy the most? Um, I was recently diagnosed with IBS or gastritis and I have been on a gluten-free diet and that has been really challenging because I love to bake and um, now I'm I've started to explore gluten-free um, options for food and I'm exploring gluten-free um, options for baking as well would you like to see videos about that um, that's also something that I'm interested in what are your New Year's goals? And what were the milestones or the victories or the accomplishments that you had in 2023? As always, thank you for joining me today. I wish you a very productive and successful 2024. Um, I wish you every blessing. I wish you opportunities. I wish you peace and love and joy in 2024 as always be kind walk good more to come